YouTube. What is going on? It's Lucy for the Lucy Kicks. Back to another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And you too can be a part of the Mighty Four Kicks Brigade. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, tap, share, all that good stuff, y'all. But that man's a dirt little fly in here. Bothering the heck out of me. Hold on. Let that down. Get him out of here. Today is release day. It's the um, very polarizing pine green black. The away pine greens, as people want to call them. And um, <clears throat> it's first come, first serve at a lot of places. Some stores did raffles. I guess guarantee you pair. It's, it's weird. It's kind of like an oxymoron. Like, what are you doing if it's first come, first serve? But you have a raffle. And um, I'm, I'm telling you, you got sneaker YouTubers, you know, going back and forth. Man, I don't like these. Man, I don't like these are dope. You know, this, this, and that, and everything. It just goes to show you what happens when a shoe isn't limited, and they find out it isn't limited. So for a couple of months, people were talking about this shoe, and they, they were upset. You know, once they found out that the sneaker was a general release. whoop dee doop dee doo It is a Foot Locker House of Hoops. It's pretty chill. From what I'm seeing in here, real quiet, like my man right there. He's in, uh, he's in the spirit. All right, that was, that was a breeze, man. And you can see, the mall is dead right now. It is uh, 10:42, which means the tax return sneaker shoppers are asleep. What's going on, y'all? Little midday. Retail therapy right here. Got something for the low. You know, something light. Something light. But I just want to talk about, uh, for a second, the tax return sneakerheads. I can't stand y'all. I can't. You come out the woodworks at the land dormant, browsing for sneakers all year. You wait till January and February to go and ball out. Buying up everything. All right? It's, you, you disgust me, okay? Stuff I've been waiting on to go on sale, I literally have to get up early in the morning to catch that shoe when I get word that the price dropped. Y'all the worst, man. But shout out to the dudes that's got the the earned income credit thing he's balling out for. I ain't mad at y'all. He get me. <laughs> so we got the sneakers right here, man. And um, I like them. I like them. Despite what a lot of people have flip-flopped back and forth about. And um, look, either you got them or you didn't want them, period. Okay, a lot of people are upset about this sneaker because they simply could not sell it. I'm gonna look at my watch because um, I am headed out in a bit for some grown folk activity. So um, <clears throat> these deals right here, man. Yes, there was a variation of these released before and prior to that, along with the mid, and there's also two variations of the lows, if I'm not mistaken. So, are people fatigued about this sneaker? I'm not sure, okay? But I have clearly seen that people are upset about this sneaker because they simply could not sell it. And that's pretty much a shame. That's how we are in the sneaker game. Like, for me, I got a shirt right here. This shirt was not released in conjunction with this sneaker. This shirt was released with the mids and um the the other pair that came out actually the lows this this was released with the lows if i'm not mistaken and i'm looking for the hat that i have already so i had already had in my possession this boston celtics hat um i posted a picture of me wearing this hat in a dope fit little little photo shoot i did down in one of my favorite places let's talk about some of the details on this sneaker that people are upset about so first things first, let's get into it. The tumbled leather. I will say this isn't super soft, all right? It's, it's, it's good, okay? 
it's not as stiff as the uh, crimson tint along the sides along the panels of the crimson tint and um, it's not as soft as the uh, or those a star is born those that release it's not as, as soft as those and um yeah, but it looks good it, it gives a good character along with the swoosh on the heel and on the toe box and one thing I will say because this um, tumble leather is a little softer it's, it's not going to crease as bad like those crimson tents the crimson tents basically had like the old mid leather on the top panel and that's fine and uh the city of flight ones that's another one that used this pebbly extra pebbly um tumbled leather on it as well and a lot of people hated those but they loved the crimson tent it's the same material so it looks like we kind of got it right when jordan brand went back to this tumbled leather it's not plush but it's not bad now another thing that's very polarizing about this sneaker is this matte black finish on the black leather the ashiness that you keep hearing about all the time i like it i do like it maybe people feel like that's dated because this was a thing to do like in 2012 2010 or whatever everybody was putting flat black paint on their cars and stuff like that but i do like it some people complain about the leather uh wings patch it's something different i like that too i don't have a problem with that uh, but you didn't complain about that on the fearless pack because you're able to sell a lot of those <sighs> the, the hypocrisy is strong in a lot of you, but it's okay And the, the, the biggest deal like I said before the sneaker was simply available now It was peculiar that finish line had a raffle for these But these were first come first serve and really it wasn't even that you could simply you probably could walk in the store right now and probably find a pair. They were selling, but there wasn't a huge line. Also, I do like these red laces. That was a nice touch. Had these released earlier in the month, these could have been the Black History Month uh, Jordan ones, All right? Like they did those Air Force ones with the striping and everything like this. You could make your own Black History Month sneaker now with these. All right, but these are dope. Um, even down to the, the little red hits on the tongue and all that stuff. It's not a bad sneaker, man. For 170 and you can walk in the store and get it. Uh, a lot of people say, I don't wear a lot of green, but I didn't hear that when you got the first pine green ones. You know, I'm, so what are we talking about here? But hey, 170, easy cop, not a problem. I think this is uh, one of the, the big tax return um, mall stars that's going on right now. And speaking of which, y'all saw my joke about the tax return sneaker uh, heads when I was leaving out which was around 1050 or so out the mall they were coming in in droves the strollers were there the dudes were pushing the strollers they were putting in that work to make sure they could secure those bags all right because I've seen them dudes are coming up on this tax return deal all right I'm winding this down because I got a few minutes left we got to get out of here uh, but yeah y'all um it's your money okay I'm not into counting other people's money, but all I'm saying is that, hey, don't go flip-flopping dramatically after you smashed and trashed this shoe, all right? No one's tired of Jordan 1s like that, trust me. We're tired of certain colorways, and we're not tired of this because it was a long break, unlike the red, black, and white that Jordan Brand was beating up. It was like every two months, it was another red, black, and white sneaker. Every two months, every two months. This, we got over a year break, okay? The original version, well, the pine green version that we had in 2018, that was 16 months ago almost. So it wasn't that soon, okay? It was not that soon compared to the red, black, white, and green. I'm telling you, people have been hitting me up. Um, shout out to Q the Queen. We had a, a discussion about that point. Some people hit me up in my DMs and like, oh man, that's messed up what you said. You know, because I call you out basically, but I know who you were. But like they say, the a kick dog will holler. People are hollering right now. People were hollering um, months, ago, well, about a month ago when they got these early, then they suddenly realized they're going to be a general release. I can't sell them. I'm not going to make any money. So what's going to happen is you're going to see these at outlets, all right, on returns. When you use my magic statement, what do you have in the back? All right, that's not a secret. I've been saying it forever. If you watch my videos, I tell you that. I've even shown you me. I've shown you 
I'm showing myself doing that in videos. Hey, what do you have in the back? And they'll bring me out whatever retros, LeBrons, whatever they got in the back in my size. And I'll pick out what I want. Then I say, hey, does the sale apply to anything? So these are for retails. No, the sale apply on these as well. And I'm out of there. All right, but you're going to see this. This shoe is going to pop up at some outlets. So don't be shocked when you see videos in the next few days and somebody's like this. You know, I do not. <laughs> I do not do the shop look in my, my thumbnails. I always give y'all the grimace, the, you know. And this is the wave now, too. Like, we don't know what the shoe is. It, I'm telling you, man, when something is popping, people jump on it. People jump on it. I was like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to. Should I do it just to troll people? I should do two, two souls. Look, man, it's no miles, no beef. I'm just having fun with y'all because I observe a lot of stuff. But hey, comment, like, subscribe, tap the notification button so you know when I'm dropping another video and y'all get down in the comment section, hearty hard up with me, speak your peace, state your, but always be respectful, okay? If you talk reckless, it's not gonna make it in the comment section. I don't run that kind of channel, man. I, I don't do that. There's plenty of other platforms where you can act a fool and be immature and irresponsible and talk like you didn't attend school in some capacity. But, like I always say, it's not about how much you pay for the sneaker. It's so why'd you pay that much? And I'm out of here. Boom. Another thing too, never count another man's money unless, A, you gave it to him, B, you helped him make it, C, you're gonna take it from him. And I'm out of here.